Good morning dear students. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on electricity. So far, we have discussed the combinations in which the resistances can be connected. We studied that resistances can be connected in a series combination. We studied that resistances can be connected in a parallel combination and then of course, we know what is a series combination and what is a parallel combination. If the two resistances are connected end to end like this, this is the first resistor and this is the second resistor. If they are connected end to end, we call it a series combination. And when they are connected like this, okay, they are said to be connected in a parallel combination. So, First of all, I will be giving you few points of distinction between series and parallel. So, suppose this is a series combination which is connected to a battery. Of course, there is full-fledged circuit, there is a meter, there is key, but uh, I'll just give you a preliminary screening of judging whether the resistances are connected in series or they are connected in parallel. Point number one. When the resistances are connected in series, the situation is like this. Okay. Point number two, uh, when they are connected in series combination, current I through each resistor is same. So if this resistor is receiving 5 amperes, this resistor will also be receiving 5 amperes. Though the potential drop across each resistor is going to be different. Fine. Now we'll talk about this situation. Here you can see that this was the end of the first resistor and this is the end of the second resistor. Can you see that both their identical ends, both the starting points of these resistors, like uh, I'll tell you what I am trying to say. This is the first resistor. This is its end, first end. Okay. And this is the second resistor and this is its first end. Their first ends are joined together and their last ends are also joined together. So this way we call it a parallel combination. Now if it is connected to a battery, remember current flowing across each resistor will be different. Because what is going to happen? Charge will be flowing and flowing and as soon as it sees two paths, the path having more resistor will receive lesser amount of current. Because what is going to happen when the se charge ja hoga and charge will see that there is a lot of hindrance in its path, to wo us way se zyada nahi jayega. So most of the charge will flow through the that resistor which is having low resistance. But very few charges, they have still the probability of going to that resistor okay next resistor so this is i1 this is i2 current flowing through resistor 1 current flowing through resistor 2 okay now after that you need to remember potential difference will be same in a parallel combination like if this resistor is uh, receiving 5 volts this resistor is also receiving 5 volts reason because path can you see that both their ends are connected to one positive and both their ends are connected to one negative. Here the situation was not like that. Its first end was connected to positive and its last end was connected to negative. So the situation is different. In a parallel combination, potential difference is same. In a series combination, current flowing is same. So let's have a look at the first numerical. An electric lamp whose resistance this is an electric lamp whose resistance is 20 ohms and there is a conductor whose resistance is 4 ohms and they both are connected to a battery which is providing you the potential difference of 6 volts. Alright. And after that there is a full-fledged circuit that you can see here. There is an emitter, there is a key and this is some circuit that you can see. Now what you need to calculate? You need to calculate the total resistance of the circuit. You need to calculate the current flowing through the circuit. You need to calculate the potential drop across each resistor. Now what you can see, this lamp and this resistor, this conductor which is having a finite resistance, they both are connected in series combination. Can you see? 
दे बोथ आर कनेक्टेड एंड टू एंड आफ्टर वन इज एंडेड द अदर स्टार्ट द सेम इयर दिस इज अ कंडक्टर दिस इज अ बल्ब लैम्प सो दे बोथ आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट टोटल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सर्किट आई एक्सप्लेन यू दैट वेन एवर यू हैव अ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन राइट सो द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इज आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री सो ऑन हाउ सो एवर नंबर ऑफ रेजिस्टर्स आर देर सो टोटल रेजिस्टेंस विल बी रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द बल्ब रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द कंडक्टर इट्स ट्वेंटी ओम्स प्लस फोर ओम्स सो इट मेक्स इट ट्वेंटी फोर ओम्स राइट एंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज टू फाइंड आउट द करंट थ्रू द सर्किट सी अभी हमने पता कर लिया कि पूरे सर्किट का रेजिस्टेंस कितना है ट्वेंटी फोर ओम्स हमें यह भी पता है दैट ओवरऑल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस दैट वी कैन सी हेयर इज सिक्स वोल्ड सो नाउ वेन वी नो द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वी नो द ओवरऑल रेजिस्टेंस इट्स नॉट हार्ड टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस सर्किट एंड हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट आई टेल यू we know that potential difference by ohms law we know that potential difference is equal to current into overall resistance so current will be equal to potential difference upon resistance isn't it so this way you can find out the value of current overall potential difference is 6 volts resistance we have got 24 ohms so 1 by 4 amperes or you can say 0.25 amperes so after that after that i am coming to the third part see i told you that in a series combination current remains the same but there is a different potential drop across the first resistor and there is a different potential drop across the second resistor so now if you want to calculate the potential difference across this lamp that will be v1 equal to current into its resistance it's about lamp put the values calculate the voltage second point calculate the potential drop across this resistor of course it will be current multiplied by the resistance do that and calculate it you are here so this is numerical number 1 let's switch to numerical number 2 now when you will see numerical number 2 it's exactly the same as numerical 1 only the trick that will be used here I i'll tell you let's read the question first suppose 6 volt battery see the values are also same 6 volt battery is connected across a lamp this is a lamp whose resistance is 20 ohms but they are connected through a variable resistor variable resistor is a rheostat जिसका रेजिस्टेंस आप चेंज कर सकते हो आप टू ओम्स से फाइव ओम्स कर सकते हो सेवन ओम्स कर सकते हो एंड यू कैन डिक्रीज आल्सो। सो इफ इफ द ओवरऑल करंट इन द सर्किट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव एम्पियर्स क्या आप बता सकते हो कि आपने वेरिएबल रेजिस्टेंस का क्या वैल्यू रखा होगा जिसकी वजह से दिस करंट हैज कम विच इज जीरो Amperes. I'll repeat the question for you. See, there is a circuit, and in that circuit, you have a battery whose potential difference is six volts. Of course, that battery is connected to a lamp whose resistance is twenty ohms, and there is a variable resistor also, whose resistance we are not knowing at this time. That how much we kept. Okay. but eventually what started happening a current started flowing and the value of that current was 0.25 amperes so can you tell what was the value of the variable resistance at that time so that 0.25 amperes was flowing so this is the question and it's pretty simple you can see that this variable resistor and this 20 ohms they are connected in parallel sorry series they are connected end to end okay so suppose variable resistor is r1 suppose the resistance of lamp is r2 so overall resistance will be rs is equal to r1 plus r2 because they are connected in series so rs will be equal to r1 plus 20 ohms that we know fine now next point is we know the current flowing through the circuit which is 0.25 amperes 
we know the overall potential difference provided to the circuit which is 6 volts so what will be the thing here v is equal to irs okay so v is equal to v is 6 volts i is 0 0.25 and rs is something we need to find out rs means in ka series combination total kitna resistance hoga anyway so rs will be 6 upon 0 0.25 right and this will be 6 upon 25 into 100 upon 100 6 into 100 upon 25 25 fours are 100 and 6 fours are 24 so rs is equal to 24 ohms okay so after that i'm solving here if rs is 24 ohms right so rs is equal to r1 plus 20 we need to find out the resistance of this now uh, which is r1 so rs is 24 you have got it r1 plus 20 so r1 is equal to take it here 24 minus 20 you have got answer 4 ohms so this was the second numerical so this is how we solve the numericals of series and parallel combination right i am giving you few more for the practice